Hi, I'm Chef Gerard Viverito, and today I'm here at TheDailyMeal.com to show you a quick and nutritious meal. I'm going to prepare for you a Malaysian chicken dish. The dish is actually out of a book that I'm part of called Back to Basics. This is a book where we went into Southeast Asia, to the mainland Malaysia in, in particular, and rounded up 16 chefs and took out their uh, favorite takes on recipes using an ingredient that we're using today called Malaysian palm oil, sustainable palm oil. And this product I'm going to use for frying. You may notice that it has this beautiful red color that's due to its high content of vitamin A and vitamin E. So while I'm talking, I'm actually going to take a piece of chicken that I already marinated and start to fry it. And I'm going to talk about what I'm doing here. This We made a little rub. The first thing I like to use are our whole um, cumin seeds. I have some whole coriander. Coriander is actually the seed of cilantro, cilantro being one of the few herbs where you can use the seed, the stem, the root, and the leaf. It's one of the few plants that's 100% usable. We have some fresh fennel seed, some corn starch, where if you read a lot of Southeast Asian recipes, they call it corn flour, but it's actually corn starch in this country. Brown sugar, white pepper, and I like to use a little Malden sea salt. It has a beautiful flavor. Those I like to toast up and put in a grinder. You can use a blender. These days some people have Vitamix blenders, Clues and Arts, spice blenders, coffee grinders. They all work equally well. In addition, we have some fresh ginger. Now ginger is amazing. This is a root or a rhizome actually that has antimicrobial, it's antibacterial, it's an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory. There's so much about inflammation these days with foods that we eat. Really good for that. Super aromatic. One of its close relatives, Galangal. You may have seen this a lot in Thai or Indonesian cooking. It looks very similar. Uh, flavor is a little bit more pungent than ginger. We also use this. Here we have turmeric. Turmeric's amazing. Most people have only seen it in dry form. This is fresh form. This is beautiful carrot orange color. Also great anti-inflammatory uh, principles. Great flavor. When I lived in the Caribbean and we used to cook with it, it was referred to as poor man saffron. Fun little bit of trivia. I'm going to use some uh, shallot and then lemongrass. Lemongrass, super aromatic. This is a reed that grows all over the place. It grows in the Caribbean, grows in anywhere uh, subtropical. It grows out of the ground in clusters. Now, lemongrass is uh, many of the same properties as ginger, the antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, etc. Super aromatic, also great for breaking a fever. I always tell people in the winter time, keep a few stalks of this in your fridge. Make a tea out of it, it'll break a fever really quickly. When you use it, I like to bruise it. Just bust it up with the back side of your knife and you see all the fibers in there. Usually you want to pop the stem end out. That'll come right out in one piece and then turn it over and with a sharp knife, just slice through it. Beautiful aromatic. What most people don't even realize is if you've ever smelled a citronella candle, citronella oil actually comes from these. That's how strong flavor they are. So when we put all our dry ingredients, the powder and the wet together, we can mix that all together. Come over to our chicken here. And this is not submerged. This is more of a pan fry where I go halfway up the sides. When I have that nice golden color, I turn it over. So we're going to take, we have a little uh, coconut infused rice here. When I was in Malaysia, discovered a lot of their favorite flavors, uh, shrimp paste, coconut, like a nice little mound. Rice being central to every, every meal they have, rice or noodles. There's such an influence from the Malay, from the Chinese, India, Indonesia. When your chicken is ready, slide it off the heat and you want to let it drain for a little while because you don't want all that oil on the plate. So either paper towels, a wire rack in a pan, what have you. Once you're ready to go, it can go right on the plate and out to your guests.